Hey everyone, my name is Joe Thatcher. I'm with Midwest Military Equipment out of Washington, Missouri. In front of me here is an LMTV MTV cab lock assembly. Uh, this particular one needs the seals rebuilt in it. Today we're going to show you how to rebuild the seals in a cab lock. Uh, as you can see here, here is the five seals that are required inside the cab lock. We actually are going to be providing a kit. You'll see that up on our site here in the next couple of days. Tools required for the job is an inch and three quarter socket, a pair of snap ring pliers, a pick, a dowel punch, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a soft blow hammer. Uh, we'll go ahead here to the first step, uh, and that's taking that this large nut off here, which is the inch and three quarter, and we'll follow up and we'll show you once we get it apart. As you can see in this next step here, we've removed the snap ring that holds the retaining pin for the other side of the lock. We've also removed the side spring that is the return spring for the cab lock assembly. We're going to remove the pin, remove the lock. As you can see here now, we further disassembled the cab lock. We've removed the snap ring that holds the locking jaw in place, along with the spring that attaches to there. We went ahead and pulled that off, so that way we can go ahead and pull this complete assembly out. Uh, the pin just has a small snap ring that goes on it there, which will be reused. See here we've got the nut that we've removed. It's the retaining nut that actually holds the spring in and then the plunger. As you can see, the inside of the cab lock and the seal in there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clean these parts up, and then we'll go back to the reassembly process. Next, you can see we've removed the inner O-ring, along with the internal wiper seal, which is all going to get replaced here in the next clip. Next step, we're going to remove the seal and the retaining cap here, which pops out, and the new one will go right back in after we get this cleaned. All right, as you can see here, we've went ahead and installed the new O-ring, along with the new wiper seal. They just simply press into place. Uh, that pick comes in handy for this step here. The most common failure that we see on these is the main lock plunger. The O-ring around this assembly here cracks, as you can see this one is. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove this, and we're going to go ahead and install the new O-ring that's included in our kit. Next step, we're going to reinstall the pin, reinstall the main lock, and the return spring. As you can see here, we've installed the new seal along with the new O-ring on the retaining nut. We can go ahead and install the plunger back into the cab lock assembly. Reinstall the spring and reinstall the cap. So here we are, finished rebuilt assembly. All you'll have to do, reinstall your 90 degree elbow fitting into this port right here, remount it on the vehicle and you'll be good to go. If this looks like too much of a task for you or you don't think you can handle it, you're at home. We also do accept these for cores. And we do have new ones on the shelf ready to ship out. Thanks for watching.